You prayed and God didn't answer. God, why? You may ask. I'd like to help you figure it out. Hi, this is Arnold and you are watching One Point. Here at One Point, we are trying to figure out how to live life to the full one point at a time. So, have you had prayers that receive a no from God? Maybe it's a dream job. Maybe you've been praying for a house or your dream car. Or maybe you've been praying for that cute girl in your school and every single time you're getting turned down. <laughs> or maybe you've been praying for that additional income to pay for your debts. Or maybe you have a chronic illness and you've been praying for healing. Or maybe you have some kind of disagreements with a family member and you've been praying for reconciliation. But every single time, whenever you pray, you feel like you're getting a no from God. You see, I also have my own prayer request. I, I pray for my career. I pray for restorations of some of my relationships that were damaged in, in the past. But for some reasons, God somehow saying no to some if not all of or majority of of this prayer of mine and sometimes just like you i also wonder why when i studied this subject i came up with um, at least three possible reasons why god says no to some of our prayers here's the first one god sometimes says no to our prayers because he has a bigger perspective you see, God can see the future and obviously you and me, we don't, we can't. And He can see every single situation, every single implication and we can and we won't be able to, to do that. We can't see the, the implications of an answered prayer. We cannot see the situation that may happen if God says yes to a particular uh, an answer to our prayer or a particular prayer of ours for those of you who have kids whenever your kids ask you for something do you always 100% every single time say yes to what they ask for of course we don't because we want them to be protected from something that they cannot see that only us can our perspective is in the here and now well, God's perspective is accomplishing His eternal plan. He can see the future and we can't. And that's the reason why sometimes God says no to our prayers. Here's the second one. Sometimes God says no to our prayers because He has a better plan. Maybe you have been praying for something and God is saying, Nope, I'm not going to give it to you because I have a different way of doing it. My ways are better than your ways. My thoughts are better and far greater than your thoughts. For instance, you have a huge debt that you need to pay and you've been praying for God to let you win the lotto. And you've been getting a no from God. God is saying, you know what? I'm not going to make you win a lo the lotto because I have a better plan. My plan is for you to be able to find ways to figure out your financial help. I want you to learn how to handle your money. Sometimes God's delay can grow our characters. Here's the third one. Sometimes God says no to our prayers because He has a greater purpose. You see, God will not let your prayer interfere with His purposes. Sometimes we pray for God to bail us out of our painful situation and God is saying, no, no. I will not bail you out. I will let you go through it because I have a deeper purpose for you. And my purpose for you is to grow, to be strengthened because of this. Here's our one point for today. When God says no, trust His heart. Sometimes it doesn't really make sense. Sometimes it's too painful for you to go through. You don't know how to proceed without the answered prayer, but you gotta trust God's heart. Psalms 27 says, Some trust in chariots and some trust in horses, but we trust in the name 
of the Lord our God. When I was in college, I was part of a singing group. Uh, yes, I can sing. You want me to sing this song? I can probably do that if you'd say yes on the comment box below. <laughs> but no, th this, this is a wonderful song. Here's the lyrics of the song. It says, God is too wise to be mistaken. God is too good to be unkind. So when you don't understand, when you don't see his plan, when you can't trace his hand, trust his heart. Yes, we don't want to receive a no from God. But the reality is that God knows much, much better than we do. God knows what he's doing and we just gotta trust God's heart. If you find this content beneficial, help others by clicking subscribe and like and maybe the notification bell. It will make others find this video too. Or if you want to know more about One Point, just click one of these videos. See you again next week.